In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of a black background and a white background using the same technique. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. So first thing you want to do is import your files. So go to Import, File, and click on the files you want to import. Import. And my main picture will be a picture of Morocco, a JPG file. I will drag and drop that into Composition, which is located here. What I want to do is I want to take this fire. So if I drag that down onto the timeline, and quite simply, I just want to get rid of the, the black background. So there's a number of ways you can do it. The easiest and simplest way would be just to click on mode and click on screen. There we have it. It's got rid of the black background. However, that will not work on the car. So if I just hide this for now, I uh, click on my car and drag that onto the timeline. If I click on screen, you can see that it doesn't work. Uh, if I click on overlay, it doesn't work. So to get rid of this white background, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to effects and presets on the right hand side. Type linear color key. Once you see it there under keying, you can click on that. You can either drag it onto your picture. Um, but what I like to do is I like to drag it onto the file just to make sure it is the right one I'm putting it on. On the left hand side under your effects, linear color key, you want to go down to key color, pick this dropper and choose the color you want to get rid of. So we want to get rid of the white. So we're going to just click on any part of the white like so and it has got rid of it. If I just move this car down and zoom in a bit. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a, a shadow there. You could toggle around with this softness and tolerance. Um, but if you go too far, it's going to get rid of that car. And the other way it's going to bring back the white. You've got to be very fine with it. But for this example, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Another way you could just get rid of that quite simply would be to choose um, the pen tool and just mask that out and put it on invert. When you use this technique of linear color key, um, because it's getting rid of the white, if you have any whites, like if this logo is white, then that's going to get rid of it as well. So something to bear in mind. So we have a picture of Morocco. We have our car. And now we want the fire. I'm going to place this car on the right hand side because our fire clip isn't the best. Uh, if I bring that back on and I could, like I said, I could put this to screen. It worked fine. But I'm going to use the same technique as we did with the car. So I'll put that back to normal. Go on your right hand side under effects and presets. Another way to find this would be to go at the top effects uh, it's under keying so we're going down to keying and you could find it there as well but just as easy to type so click on that drag that onto your fire and color pick the black to get rid of the black and that's got rid of that because the fire is below the car it's gonna be behind if we drag the fire underneath the, the picture, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, if we drag it to the top, it's going to be in front. So this is what we've got so far. It's not bad, but we can make that a little bit better. And how we do that is with an effect called shift channels. So again, if we go to the effects and presets and type in shift channels, click on that and drag that over to your fire and we go to take alpha from and select luminance i think for me that is a much better result than just simply doing the screen i think if you if you do add fire it's good to have 
you know, a few clips. And if you do a fire below the car and it's behind the car, it's going to give the, the picture a little bit more depth. So if you click on fire, push control D and drop that below the car on the timeline. You got a, a fire behind the car now. You can tweak it, make it a little bit bigger. And push play. That's looking pretty cool. Because it's the same clip, the fires are burning at the same time. It looks very similar. What we can do is just move this left a bit so they're not exactly matched and they're going to be burning differently. That's pretty good. And lastly, we're going to add some smoke. So we on some smoke. Drag that down. Again, if we click on screen, bar barely notice it around here. But if that's the effect you're going for, it's okay. We can use the, the same technique though, however. Um, go to linear color key, like that. Drag that onto the smoke. And you're gonna pick the black. Just be careful not to make sure it's not near the smoke because you'll be selecting that color. So I'm just gonna go into the corner here. And it's looking like that. Um, it's a clip downloaded from the internet, so you can see it kicks in a bit weirdly there. So just drag that left a bit so our clip is already starting with the smoke. You can make it fine adjustments. And happy with that, so I am going to render it out. I will click on file. Go to export, add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. And now that's popped up. I am going to save it to my desktop. Save. Oh, wait, I did it one before, so I'm just going to overwrite that. And I will click. Okay, so the file is saved on my desktop. I will double click that. And that's the result we got. We've got rid of the, the fire. Um, the black in the fire. We've uh, got rid of the, the white in the car surrounding and, and the black in the smoke.